Hi, Steve Harmon here, Oakland Cemetery in Hampton, Virginia. Today, uh, I'm going to try to go over this little uh, dashboard that I created uh, for work at Oakland Cemetery. I created this about uh, 2019 <clears throat> as a uh, uh, to create a work package, okay, um, and it's going to consist of forms, reports, and a work package. And also, I have what they call a CPOD, Cemetery Plan of the Day. Okay, I'm not going to try to do a whole lot of talking. I want to try to get right into this. But after reading the uh, Department of uh, Historic Resources, uh, through Virginia, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty, uh, they want to be informed. They want to monitor, track, and control any work that's going on in these cemeteries that they uh, have recognized and provided grants to. But I'm hoping that maybe this would be adequate to uh, report to them on some of the work. So I'm going to try to go over some of the work I plan to do this year. <clears throat> and, uh, Here's we go. Okay. This is cemetery plan of the day. All right. And so sometimes we'll post it on like a little chalkboard out there. And I, I just picked a few things here. And so if you got a team of people coming out or different people out there working, you know, we like to know what's going on and we like to try to plan for it. All right. So let's say we had a flag tender. Well, we need a volunteer for that. You know, every time a wind comes through or steadily wind sometimes the staples break off or the flags the wind uh, flops them around and the sticks get loose and uh, be nice to have a flag tender and then uh, mapping updating all right <clears throat> I got a copy of a map uh, of the maps for each section but what I've noticed too it's really not up to date and what I like to try to do is have a volunteer to come through and, you know, you can sit down, take a chair or whatever, and go through using the existing map and see where they're missing and, and fill it in. And maybe we can uh, provide it to the uh, city and the library and maybe use it as an update, as a revision. Like, let's say, for example, raking leaves. Right? In another month or so, a couple months, there are going to be a lot of leaves out there. But, you know, it's just to show you, uh, gravestone cleaning. Somebody might be cleaning gravestones. But to give you an example, you know, it's a good little thing to have, a good little plan of the day. All right. And so forms, this is work order. So if you want to create a work order, this would be a, a form to fill out. Okay. So. It's a split form. Everything's the same down here. And you could either fill it in up here or, or fill it in down there or down here. And you can see, you can see over here, uh, 5 1 of 19. All right. That's when I started this particular one. All right. And it's done. All right. I haven't really determined what, uh, I want to call finish when I fill in the finish date. For example, if it's all up, clean, reset, it takes time for cleaning and even after reset and uh, updating pictures. I like to, uh, once it's done, if there was an old picture on Find the Grave, I like to update it. And so once the picture, that would be the final thing is once the picture's updated. <clears throat> but as you can see here, I mean, I really didn't start using this again until after I started reviewing some of the requirements that uh, that I read through the historic resources. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit here, and I'll get to, say, 23. All right, now, you can see I added pictures in here. And this, this lady here. Man, all this area, I hope you can see these pictures, but this was really all overgrowth. This stuff, was, if you looked on Find a Grave at this lady, you can see, you could barely see her stone. But it's, let's say, a half inch and a half thick. And I probed, probed, probed. I, I couldn't find it. And it's broke off on the bottom. 
So what we decided to do is to take a form, build a form, and then reset it over here. Uh, I don't like to move the stones around much. Uh, you know, I like to put them right about where I found them. Uh, but you can see we did a lot of research. And if you look over here, you see she died in 1903. And I had a friend of mine, uh, I think Steve Suttles, uh, he, uh, he researched it on Ancestry. He said he couldn't find anything. And one of the things, I mean, he did say was, uh, she died even before we had social security and so there were really hardly any records on it and I don't know what funeral home took care of her but that that's I'm going to go through these and uh, trying to show you what I, I plan to do I'm going to use another view but uh, to give you an example how this works here and then let's see let me select another one here uh, I'll show you. Let's see. Let's pick a name here. Trying to show you how this will work. This is really a form for filling out information. And you can look. All right. <clears throat> As you can see down here, there's two of them. The whole family is uh, interned here in, in section three. All right. And I'll show you the next picture. But. Uh, you can see it, it's broke at the top and it's broke at the bottom and it's laying flat. These were in overgrowth. There was trees and limbs and vines all over there. So we found this and uh, like I said, I had planned to, uh, to reset her. It's the same thing with a form. And I, I guess that's her brother. But if you look over here, the last picture, see here's the top of her stone. And I did the same thing. I probed all over this place. You know, you wouldn't think maybe t about 12 inches down, you know, it could be. And being by or close to the family, I mean, where you'd find the bottom. I'm looking for the bottom half of these. Same way with uh, uh, Mary Wilson. But we do plan on resetting these. These are something that can be done pretty easy, you know. But I do plan on doing that. But like I said, you would take and you can either type it in here or go down here. You could hit this button over here and type it in right there if you'd like. All right, I'm going to close this form out. Then the other thing I did back in 2019, uh, pick, you know, I typed in all these names uh, from the cemetery book of uh you know unmarked locations they did document you know unmarked location or unmarked graves uh and uh, some of the locations but uh most of the locations are in a uh, a description you know like for example died in 1922 uh buried in their uh, gammon lot section two you know see but <clears throat> Just to kind of show you, I mean, there's a lot more. All right now, this this is the work report. This is the same information off of here. All right. All right. As you can see, I started in 2019. There's no pictures. Uh, but and you, you can see it, it's going to bounce through. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick up uh, a date. Okay. I'm going to click into the date. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to filters. I don't want to say this month because you can see I filled out information for this month. All right. I'll go over these. I do plan on getting this done. Uh, there's a few things that I need to change in here. This is marker type. All right. What I did was put uh, uh, the material. This is a consumable material. I put something in here uh, to have to make a spot. But I need to learn, you know, what the type of stone this is, you know, and the material composition, and that should be put in here. But anyways, 
this one here, you know, the, the stone itself, let's say is uh, 30 inches high. And I, I estimated it as four inches thick. And uh, I estimate just this top stone is about 275 pounds because it is really thick, four inches thick. <clears throat> and uh, the veteran stones are about uh, 250 pounds. This one here is just a little bit different. And I wrote one dial pin is installed and one broke flush in the bottom. And both uh, have cracks around the dial pin holes. But you see, I dug this up a couple of years, a few years ago, and uh, this <laughs> this was pretty hard. I mean, you learn. I mean, this was sunk all the way down. It's hard to see, but there's another there's another base on top of this. But I mean, you learn. You know, you dig it out and think that you're gonna uh, manhandle this thing out of the hole. Man, it's tough. So, you know, the best thing to do and now, now that I have the cart, I can put all the things on there I need and go ahead and put the chain fall on there and, uh, you know, tripod and pull it out. Man, they're, they're, it's, <laughs> it's pretty rough. All right. So I hope this is going to bounce around a little bit. All right. What I'm going to do is put it in print preview. All right. All right. There's print preview. So that will work a little bit better. And I use the scroll there here to go to the next page. All right. Mr. and Mrs. Foster, us in Section 5. I do plan on lifting that. I do plan on doing a video on this one. Uh, you can see it's sunk pretty deep. This is back where the Bailey and Adams is the same area. And uh, I don't know if you can, uh, Mr. McCoughlin back here. He was, uh, he's a World War II veteran. Uh, he was on a uh, ship that got sunk October the 44th, 44, October the 24th, 1944 in the China Sea. But uh, he, yeah, <clears throat> he's MIA. And that's his family. I try to reset that one, clean them a little bit. And I'm doing this one right here. It's hard to see, but I got a picture of it. But I do plan on doing uh, this stone. I'm going to make some modifications to my lift rig. All right, this one fell this past year. All right, one of the storms come through. And uh, you'll have enough height probably because it's 39 inches tall. And uh, But with this base has to be reset. All right, and so it's going to raise higher. It's hard to see, but all these are leaning. And if I'm not mistaken... Um, I don't have, I don't have the date on this one, but the other stones here, just because I, I can't see it. But uh, same way with the uh, the two babies in 1834. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they were moved uh, from Fort Monroe here. I think this whole family was uh, re uh, removed and put here in Oakland Cemetery. I think they were worried about flooding at uh, Fort Monroe, but you, that's early 1800s. There you go. This one here, you can see 1836. I think the the other one was 1834. So these are babies, young children. <clears throat> this one fell this past year. But this one here, see it's 36 inches tall. And the cross is 39 inches, and so it's a, that's pretty good height. And so I'm going to have to extend my lift rig. Uh, and I estimate the cross to be about 150 pounds, and the dial pin is in the cross. So I do plan. That's Mr. Foster, Mr. and Ms. Foster is right over here. They're, they're pretty close. <clears throat> I think this is the one I showed you behind the Fosters there. I don't know why I didn't lift this one. I can't remember why, but if I'm not mistaken, I usually probe the ground, and I know there's a base, but I think it's in concrete too, and so it's going to take some time, but I'm going to do a video on this one too. There's Miss Wilson. Right, here's another uh, two children. 
and uh, this goes over here and you can see it's not level okay and it's got pretty good sized dolphin holes and then I would, I'm thinking that this base goes over here because this stone over here there is busted in several pieces over here but anyways with this stone it's been moved several times it's hard to see but I can't get the lawnmower through there all right and so I, I moved it I come back so I moved it move it again so I, I, I kind of just left it. it's really hard to get the lawnmower around here but I do plan on trying to reset that one. Like it's going to take a lot of digging. Their, their door family, this is the whole family's over here. It's a really nice plot. There it is. So it's two children. All right, that's, we already looked at that one. All right, yeah, well, this one here. You know, I do plan on resetting this one. This is in uh, section one. You can see. This is section one. It's pretty good tall stone here. It's really soft in this area, but I do plan on trying to get that one up. This one here, pieces are missing. You know, I mean, pieces are m missing. I mean, you can see, you know, 1889. <clears throat> Some of these stones, I, I, I don't understand how they were, were, were really even set. Uh, but this one's been down a long time, too. Like the other one, it's, they've been down a long time. And uh, it looks like to me some work's probably been done here. And dowel holes and things like that. But, you know, today's stones, there is no dowel holes. It's flat. And I mean, it the surface finish on there are so fine on the newer ones that, man, you know, it's like a piece of glass. You know, it just slides. I mean, the material slides, and they put leveling compound on there, and it holds them for a while. But uh, some of them you could just touch, man, and they'll, they'll fall down. Even the new ones, where the dial pin holes, at least, uh, you know, you hope that they would shear. For the stone does, and I think a lot of them have. All right, this is another one here in section one. I don't know where uh, the bottom is. I've searched around, but you know, <clears throat> you can see it died in 1856. So I would assume that this one was moved from Fort Monroe too, because the cemetery wasn't established till 1861. Like this one here, we do plan on putting it up, okay? But this is a veteran one. It's been down, it's been laying on the ground since I got there. But I would like to set him upright. I mean, I'm real confident that he's right down here. I mean, you can see, it's hard to see, but the ground's really sunk in over here a little bit. So he's been down, and uh, I do plan on uh, resetting him. Uh this Miss Bassenberg here, she's in uh, section five, back in the corner here. Uh, the base is here, but I don't know where the, the bottom piece is. Uh, I'd like to reset it, but I'm not sure what I'll be able to. Uh, this is an, an up front again in section one, but uh, I do plan on resetting him. All right. This one here is, you know, uh, it's broke. You see the dial pins are up. You know, it, this one's probably, I don't know how long it's been down. It, it, it's been down a while, but you know, I'll see if I can get to it. I'm not going to be 100% sure. But anyway, that's about 20 of them. But here, here's the nice thing about this. All right. So, go to print preview. All right. Now, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to say, I don't, you know, I want to export it. Well, the nice thing about it, I wouldn't show you, but it, it, the window won't let you. But, you know, you could, for example, export it to PDF. Beautiful. Then you can email it to whoever, whoever you want to. But it works fine. It'll work fine. But this is, this works really good. All right. Close that down. 
close print preview. All right. The other thing is, let me try to show you here. Let's say, uh, whoops, I think I did that already. I kind of showed you how that worked. All right. All right. <clears throat> now, here's what I did. All this is the same data here. So, what I did here was I took uh, an estimated cost here. All right. Now, you know, for example, this is section one, you can see where they are. Some of them I did estimated cost. And it's grouped by, say, section, and then whatever the plot number is. And then at the bottom here, I got a grand total at the bottom. But I'll show you. Let's go, let's take a section three. So I click in there, I'll right click, and say equal three. All right, so there. Same thing. So you can see, I'm just uh, give you an idea <clears throat> how much now the cost on this one here is a little high because of the uh, mountain, let's say cement uh, and stone epoxy and things like that. It's going to be a little high. But also realize you're not using, you know, you're gonna, probably going to use a bag of cement or whatever, but like leveling compound, you're not going to use all the level of compounds so you estimate a d2 cleaner you know you're not going to use a quart or a pint you know stuff goes a long ways fill material you know you know the fill material is only for under the stones this fill material that i have is not for filling graves and you, know, you need something that's porous something you can have some body with to hold these stones up but to show you in there again, you can right click on it, export it to PDF, or just print it out outright. Okay, so I'm going to close that. Close that. Now, <clears throat> this is a work package. Let's say you have some volunteers or a group of volunteers or just yourself. And you, you want to... Uh, Give them a detailed information on what to do. All right, this is a work package. All right. So this is like uh, first. Uh, let me say this. Say it'd be a master copy. If you're the supervisor or whoever you want to control the job, depends how how detailed you want to be. You'd want to print two copies out. One, I'll say the master copy. What you would do, you take a red ink pen and say sign copy. That's the master copy. Because if any changes are made in there, then you want to update the master copy and save the computer. So that's what you'd want to do. The other copy is work copy. All right, so, um, and I'll go over, it kind of shows you the same thing here, you know, you know, the location, the name. The birth date. I go into a whole lot of detail, maybe cement and, and some notes. But I'll go to, uh, let's say, uh, we did a section three. Let's see if it's a word. Go in there, click in there, right click, go to filters and contain. Let's say section three. All right, there's section three. All right, let's go to print preview, landscape. There you go. All right only one page and so you'd print this out okay there again you know that's up there just to show you uh, you want to sign copy right. and then you, you can print it out you can also send it to PDF or whatever but this is where you hand your hand your group so you see they'd be working in section three the location uh, you know your start date, the name, say name. You don't need a whole lot of information in here. But this work this is your work package here. Alright. Now remember the consumable list, alright? Okay. This is where you fill in you could either fill in, in up here or down here a consumable list. And maybe, uh, you know, the category, the work type, cleaning, resetting, 
leaf raking, grass cutting, whatever. This is items that you're going to consume, like water, uh, D2 cleaner, um, things like that. You're going to consume and get rid of. All right? <clears throat> tools. All right? Same thing. You know, whatever the tool is, you know, a level, post level, quantity one, you're going to be using it for reset. You can fill it out the same way. All right, now this is your report. All right, so there again, you know, I want to I'll go to print preview, landscape, and you know, you can print that out for cleaning. These are the minimum things you're going to need for cleaning. Okay, with some of the minimum things you need a gallon bucket, five gallon bucket, soft brush, spray bottles. You know, two different spray. I use it like a, I call it a bug sprayer, but uh, you need at least 20 gallons of water. Ain't no sense to if you don't carry the water with you. Uh, <clears throat> but trying to show you, you know, you print these out. These are proven. Right? These forms are proven. This is your field work. You roll that up with paper, put it in your back pocket, you know, put it in your tool bag, toolbox, or whatever. But this works. All right. And then. Work package report. There you go. There's a, a tool list. So, there's a tool list. They basically do the same thing. There's two pages of this, depending on what you're doing. Basically, the same thing. So, that's about it. So, I hope uh, this might help. Some other groups may use something different. I don't know. But, I know if you're going to do a nonprofit, and if you're going to um, try to get historic recognition, uh, you're going to have to have some type of reporting and uh, to go to them. Uh, if you're going to do it, they uh, historic sites, they they really don't appreciate people coming in there and just start doing it. All right, well, thank you for watching, and. Uh, plan on sharing another video that I did on the 501c3 uh, nonprofit with the IRS a summary on that thank you very much have a good day